Welcome to this next set of trig theory videos where we introduce compound and double angles and look at some examples of how to apply them. This will be a trio of videos and in this first one we will explore the proof of cos of a minus b. Before we begin with the proof, let's have a look first at a concept that is true for all points on a circle. The coordinates can in fact be expressed as trig ratios. Let's go and see how. So as has been done here, place theta in standard position with p one unit away from the origin in any direction. We use one unit just because it's the simplest. The point p will then have an x coordinate and a y coordinate wherever it has been placed. And so if you apply trig ratios in each case, x over one is cos of theta and y over one is sine of theta. These equations simplified gives you that x equals cos theta and y equals sine theta, which makes p the point cos theta sine theta. You may want to pause on this for a moment to fully absorb this concept. Right, we're set now to look at the proof of the formula. There are three steps to this proof. We'll start here with the first one, which is to set up a sketch. You'll see that A and B have been placed in standard position, which makes the angle ROQ A minus B. And if we remember the concept we spoke about before starting with step one, the points R and Q, which are both one unit from the origin, have the coordinates cos A sine A and cos B sine B. Our next step is to determine two expressions for RQ squared. The first is using the cosine rule, and the second is using the distance formula. Simplify each of these, remembering that sine squared plus cos squared is one, hence the two here. You now have two different expressions for RQ squared. Then the third and final step of the proof is now to equate these two expressions. Once you've equated them, subtract two from both sides, and then finally divide both sides by minus two which leaves you with this equation, the formula for cos of a minus b we set out to prove. Now that it is clear where the formula for cos of a minus b comes from, hopefully you will feel ready for the next video where we will look at deriving the other compound angle formulae. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.